Listen, guys, being an entrepreneur is probably one of the most craziest, dumbest, insane things you can possibly do in your life. And yet, here we are where a million different people want to do it. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying pause for a second and let me, t- let me talk to you first. Because this is what's happening. When we're looking at the entrepreneurs today, most people are looking at Silicon Valley. They're looking at the Mark Cubans, the Elon Musks as of late, the Mark Zuckerbergs, the Jack Dorseys, and everybody that comes from the Valley. And these guys are the 0.01%. They're the outliers of outliers of entrepreneurs. They started off young. They had more risk tolerance. They had, not all of them, but majority of them, they were in a better position than most. Now, I'm not even talking about financial. I'm just talking about when you're younger, you can take a million times more risk. Now, the reality is, and this is a hard bullet to bite for most people, the reality is most people aren't genetically wired to be entrepreneurs. That's the reality. You have your genes, then you have your epigenetics, which dictate, you know, that's a software which dictates kind of how your genes work, not 100%. And by the time you're like 10 or 12, that's pretty much who you are. You can change a little bit different things, but you really can't. This is why I'm a firm believer in free will. Free will really doesn't exist. There's a spectrum, but you, if you really think that you're making that decision, think again. And so when you look at what entrepreneurs are, they're crazy motherfuckers that love risk taking. Their risk tolerance is so high that you have to be a little bit cuckoo. You guys know my story. I got kicked out of high school, end of grade nine. And uh, ever since that, I've been hustling, doing different things. I've failed a million times, gone through a bunch of shit, like crazy fucking shit. And there's, this is how I'm genetically wired. You know what I mean? For me, it's like, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'll take the pain. I like the pain. I like the stress. I like the crazy chaos. And most people aren't wired this way. This is why I had Steven Sisler on the show talking about behavioral profiling to really figure out how you're wired. It's really important because if you look at the bell curve, if you look at the medium of entrepreneurs, they're males in their mid forties who've gone through bankruptcy twice and run a business roughly about five, ten million million right now. Now ask yourself, are you the type of character that can take all this risk, that can take the risk tolerance, that can fail going through bankruptcy twice, both not just from the financial aspect, which is massive, but the emotional aspect, the spiritual aspect. Most people fucking can't and they shouldn't, to be honest with you. Most people do a better job as being an entrepreneur. Now, entrepreneurs are really, really important to good startup entrepreneur organizations. They're not your typical nine to five people. They have the entrepreneurial animal spirit but they want that security. They're not go-getters. They're not risk tolerant. (laughs) They're very low risk, very conservative, but they have the ingenuity, the know-how, the je ne sais quoi, as they say, to be an entrepreneur in a safe environment. And they're like a Swiss army knife within an entrepreneur organization or a good startup. And so these people, you know, they cross the T's, dot the I's, and they're a superpower to have within your team. Now, it's up to you to figure out, are you this entrepreneur or the, are you this an entrepreneur? And you need to audit yourself. You really need to figure out because it's no joke, man. Like, it really does depend where you are in your life. You know, if you're young, if you're a kid or in your mid-20s or even like early 30s and you don't have too much liabilities or too much risk, you can take the risk if you're hardwired that way. But let's say you're in your 40s and you have kids and you have a mortgage and you have to pay for health care and education and support the family, your risk tolerance is really low. That's not to say I have a bunch of my friends who are crazy motherfuckers and they'll take that risk. I'll take that risk too. I don't give a shit. Um, But we're wired that way. I am wired to go out there and be crazy. I'm the type, I'm the crazy person you hear about that jumped off the cliff and decided to build my suit while falling off while other people will spend two years making a plan, then go off the cliff. Right? So this is why I'm kind of making this video. Don't be sucked up into this whole entrepreneurial high. You know, I love Gary. You know, Gary B talks about all this stuff. Uh, him and I are, I view it very similarly hardwired, but most people aren't hardwired this way. Most people aren't this risk tolerant. You know, their risk is very low. They're not self starters. Uh, they can't make decisions quick because when shit hits the fan, that's when the real character comes out. You know, I've been there, man. Payroll one week away, banks calling you dealing with government agencies, you know what I mean? Business fucking falling apart. You don't know what to fucking do. Peep everybody coming, every, everything's on you. Every fucking thing's on you. What do you do then, huh? There's only certain set of people in the world that can handle that type of stress and still go through it. You know, look in the wild. Two moose fight. One moose fails. 
testosterone drops down, the depression hits, and he doesn't mate. Uh, this is that negative feedback loop, the dopamine loop. And in reality, if you have a bunch of failures, depending on how you're hardwired, if you have a bunch of failures, it's going to be detrimental. Not just detrimental to financial. Financials you can repair. That's, that's the most renewable commodity on the planet. But the psychological stress, the mental stress, that's a different story. That fucking takes time to heal, man. And it pushes on you. And this is why entrepreneurs have depression, man. We have issues. Like We have fucking issues. And that's, that's a reality. Like We are... A lot of us are very depressive and we go through a lot of shit. A lot of regular people do not fucking understand because they don't have the stress that we have. And so don't take this lightly, man. Like I'm a firm believer, figure out how you're wired. Look at, look at the X-Men. I love comic books. One of my favorite comic books of all time is Kingdom Come. Go get it. It's like hands down best comic book of all time. And so everybody in the comic book has their unique ability, their superpower. You need to figure out what your superpower is. Do not be focusing on your weaknesses. Be focusing on your strengths. You know, in my case, my strength is I'm a hurricane. I'm a starter. I don't give a shit. I'm not the detailed, oriented, long-term thinking. I'm like, oh shit, we're going to build that. We're going to go build something right now. Just jump out the window and go start doing it. That's my superpower. I'm innately hardwired, naturally, not learned. And this brings up a good conversation about is entrepreneurship a learned habit or born, or if you're born with it. My camp is you're born with it unless in this very, very few uh, examples where you're lucky enough to fall into the circle that they can fill in the gaps that you have. So that's very rare case. But if you're by yourself or with another founder, uh, for the most part, man, people aren't like that. Right. And so you need to really, really dive into that and understand your weaknesses, understand your strengths and understand where you're coming from, right? Because once you understand who you really are, then you can build a proper roadmap. You can figure out, okay, I know for a fact that I might not be an entrepreneur. I might be an entrepreneur. I know I, not, I might not be a starter. I might be a finisher. I might be good at operational. I might be good at all these other things that natural entrepreneurs aren't, right? There's something crazy about people who are just willing to give it all and lose and keep on doing it. You know, I always say, like I got my marble screwed up a little bit, man. You know, look at Elon Musk. Look at all these people. They, they're not, we're not normal, man. Non entrepreneurs aren't fucking normal at all. Like gotta be fucking crazy and suicidal and all this shit to be going out there. I'm going to build this fucking $20 million business. It's going to be like this. And I'm going to give it all I have and work hundred hours a week. And if it fails 90% of the time, it fucking does fail. Well, I'm going to start doing it again and again and again and again. It takes a certain individual to fucking do that. And so this is a warning to you all. Um, really analyze yourself. Understand who you are. Understand what you're capable of. That skill set. Skill is learned. You can learn any skills, man, to be honest with you. Um, that is artificial. Skills are artificials. Your innate genetic makeup of what makes you. So your hormones, your neurotransmitters, your synapses, how you're wired, that is almost fucking impossible to change, almost impossible. And so instead of you, you know, going backwards, you know, trying to climb a hill, it's very difficult to reprogram who you are. Instead, let's start at the top of the hill and figure out how your synapses are naturally wired for a beneficial way so things come easier for you, you know. And so when you see all these videos of like, start your own business, start your own startup, be the next Elon Musk or be the next... Uh, you know, Peter Thiel or Zuckerberg, whoever, that's not for everybody, man. There's only one Zuckerberg. There only is one Elon Musk. There's only one you. Think about that. It's a fucking miracle that you're here and I'm here and I'm talking to you and you're alive and you're talking back to me. You're a miracle of the universe. There's only one unique copy of you in this dimension. And so you want to kind of utilize your unique copy of who you are to figure out what's best suited for you. And so I'll leave it that, man. Being an entrepreneur is enough for everybody. I don't think so. You should chase it, to be honest with you. I don't think so. Unless you're the few crazy motherfuckers, you should not be chasing it. Instead, you should be figuring out your unique superpower so you can do the best on how you're naturally born. Now, leave it at that, guys. If you have any comments below, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.